Hi it's Rixie. Okay I know it's been a minute, but I'm back. Kinda haha. Anywho. So today as you already know, I'll be reacting to kinda harsh unpopular K-pop opinions from Reddit. Fun. I know. Okay I'm done. Idols from America are usually cringy. I can kinda understand this person, but to an extent. But anyone can be cringy no matter where they are from. I personally don't find just American idols cringy or even idols from another country cringy. I think this person was referring to Ed Yo. And how America is so opposite but honestly that doesn't make any sense so next. 80s is not good at performing live. Well I and maybe many would have to disagree. I personally think 80s is one of the best live performers. They all light up the stage and you can tell they all enjoy themselves while doing so. I respect this opinion. But I don't see it how they do. It's better if only rich people become idols. I find this opinion kinda ridiculous and very judgmental. It's like the same saying slash doing. Oh if you are homeless you can't eat at a nice restaurant. Like hasn't this person ever heard of IU or BTSV? I don't think so. YG is mostly responsible for the hate Blackpink gets. I agree but disagree. I do think YG has caused a lot of people to turn down Blackpink. Due to how YG promotes the girls. But people hate on people for no good reason just because they are a living person. So I don't think YG is only the reason Blackpink gets hate. Blackpink gets hate for very stupid reasons. Like most groups do. It's just the internet. Thinking two members of a group are together isn't delusional. I can agree with this opinion. We all assume that everyone in a group are friends. But when really no one knows what's going on behind the scenes. Also I think if people think something is going on. People shouldn't get offended by it and call someone delusional. Because who really knows. But overall it's no one's business if two members like each other in a group or not. So let's keep it at that. Sometimes a member having little to no lines in a song is actually good and admirable. Yes someone did say this. I disagree with this opinion 100%. When you are an artist like a singer, and every idol trains on singing, your job is to be a singer. And if you don't have nothing to sing you are wasting your time. And a lack of singing slash lines can cause less screen time. And that can make a whole lot of trouble for that person. So this is not a good thing. Jenny and Jisoo aren't putting much effort when it comes to their job. Oh slow down there cowboy. First I want to say they do put lots of effort. Especially Jisoo. Jisoo has improved so well in her dancing and we all know that woman works so hard. So I don't wanna hear it. Now Jenny works hard but I do wish Jenny would look happy when she dances. But that doesn't mean she doesn't work hard. Treasure should have been the boy Blackpink. And their debut would have been more successful. Well no shame. So firstly I want to say I've known Treasure since Treasure Box so this kinda hurts. No group needs to be exactly like another one. And saying because they aren't. That's why they flopped. People need to stop hating on Treasure's boy. Because it's honestly annoying. Y'all people will complain and complain if someone threw views at your face. And y'all say views don't matter. But then y'all wanna make fun of a group because of numbers. Y'all should be ashamed. Dieting is a part of their job. Technically yes dieting is a part of their job. But I don't agree with the very strict dieting that's causing mental and physical harm. If someone wants to diet or the company wants them to. It needs to be in a healthy way rather than something quick and harmful. Age does matter for fangirling. Honestly I don't find it a big deal. K-pop isn't really inappropriate and could pass as kid stuff. And if your granny likes BTS she likes BTS. Jin of BTS is not a great singer. Well I disagree. Because to me Jin has a lovely voice. And I think he's a very good singer. He might not be the best but he is nowhere near a bad singer. Lisa wears too much makeup. So I understand the Korean beauty standards. And how horrible they actually are. But anyway I'm not going to get into that. But I don't think Lisa wears too much makeup and if so, who cares? I don't see 80s or BTS similarities. Honestly I can kinda but not really. 80s has such a different concept to me. That I don't really see it. But if you do then you do you boo. I don't know to be honest. 4th and 3rd gen stands don't need to acknowledge 2nd gen groups. So being someone that is 3rd gen stand, 
I don't see any problem with acknowledging anyone. Of course in a civil manner. Like y'all I don't understand the fighting between 2nd gen and 4th gen or whatever. Honestly at this point. Y'all should just be nice to each other. Like I know y'all 2nd gen stands were here first. And I know 4th or 3rd gen stands act extra. But y'all it's just music. So stop coming at each other's throats like damn. I don't care about music videos at all. I disagree. What got me into K-pop was the music videos and how different they are from any other music videos I've seen. Don't get me wrong a song is a bot no matter the MV, but the visuals make it something too. Honestly to me, no one has to care but I think we should appreciate MVs though, because it takes lots of editing, lots of money and lot of time, so the least you could do is appreciate it. It's okay to be jealous when your faves date. I've mentioned this before. It's a natural feeling to be jealous. But people shouldn't make it a thing of hate nor harm. If you get a little jelly because your bias is dating just keep it to yourself. Okay. It's better to bias less popular members. I find this opinion kinda stupid. People for some reason get very offended and even sometimes label the least popular member in a group has mistreatment because people don't bias them much. Like what? Bias whoever you want. Don't listen to this person. There are no amazing vocalists in this new generation. Sure, Jan. Jenny doesn't have enough personality to be a successful solo artist. Being a hardcore blink for some reason I get this. I don't think Jenny could ever be a solo artist. Because she seems bored sometimes especially when she dances. And when you are a solo artist people only look at you. But even if she did, Jenny would most definitely be successful at it overall. And her stage presence is actually good when she's in the mood. Equal treatment for all members in a group is impossible. I agree with this opinion. A group with lots of members. The fairness might not be that great. And I think we all should understand why that may be. Now I understand when a company just doesn't give equal treatment to one or more members when it could be equal. But overall I understand this. And how hard it might be for companies. Jisoo nor Rose is nowhere near mistreated. Because they have nice things. Opportunities and the biggest K-pop group doesn't mean they don't get mistreatment. So I don't wanna hear it. Thank you. Next. Somi's live performances for her latest comeback are very underwhelming. Honestly sadly I can agree. What you waiting for is a bop and I do love the song. But honestly this song just didn't wow me nor the stages. The only thing that did was her trophy breaking. But honestly I feel like Somi should have been in a group. But at the same time she could have overpowered the group so. I don't know. But I still love her. I don't like when groups put out a lot of content. I actually agree with this too. For example Stray Kids puts out a lot of content. And I love Stray Kids but I literally can't watch everything. Also I feel like if a group does the group won't seem exciting anymore. Why you think Blackpink only has one comeback each year. So when they do drop something everyone talks about it. If you take groups that promote well like twice when twice has a comeback it's good but people don't go crazy over it so technically yg is smart trash after all okay well i'm done i'll see you all next time whenever that will be don't forget to like comment and subscribe okay tootles